Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot! I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there! It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh, lost it. Oh, no. It's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat. And the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. <gasps> that doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was going to collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, was it? Oh yeah. These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh no. Hey, son! Buddy! Over here! Frank! Are you alright? We're here to rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And LaFord. Hello. And that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> no. But don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashie. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Ah. Run for your lives! He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? <laughs> Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> There's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, nobody captures me, you see. Hello, will ya? 
Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? Oh. oh no, Inkling, Dashie and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo chutes. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. Oh. How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm, he must be in the vents. Right, I'm going after him. <laughs> What's the big idea? Captain, you did it! Where's Anton? Ahoy, matey! Glad I found you! Oh, I'm not! I mean, if I'm that easy to see, then I'm not camouflaged! How will I hide from the sharks? You can't hide either! Hmm. I see what you mean! Captain! The coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm, what if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. But an artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well... The truth is that the Gup F isn't much of a Gup anymore. <laughs> but I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak, but we'll have to work fast. The first step, we should cover the Gup F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Much better. <sighs> well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Oh, oh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. But Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. 
Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Look, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. Called. Hey guys, I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on out there. Ready guys? One. A little more. Two. Sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key! I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. Octonauts, let's do this! Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah. a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <laughs> In that case, we'd better hurry. Whoa. Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on up there? We're caught in the middle of a whoa! Feeding frenzy! It's making the cleanup a little tricky, and we Captain! Captain! Oh no! I have to help them! Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Ready! 
They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down! Don't look down! Thanks for the lift, Pelicans! Good to see you're feeling better! Now, why do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys! In and out fast! Get ready, Octonauts! When the Pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can! Prepare to plunge! I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. Flappity <laughs> flippers, they're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Too bad, Jabba. So, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help, now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> right, Peso. Let's hope that Gup of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Oh, oh. has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. <laughs> As fast as you can. We're going to make a sea pig whirlpool. I am a Yeti Crab, and my name is Klaus! <laughs> a Yeti Crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> yeah, that is a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh. Aren't they very hot and dangerous? 
Not for a yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but mm, there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock, it's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. Tweak, <laughs> the plates are out. I can't stop the ship. a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. <coughs> There's no room to turn the gub around. Cap, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. There's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> I'm not even know a shortcut. They were attacked by something fast moving with big sharp teeth. What the door? I knew it. Fine tooth snapper, show yourself. Whoa, easy, Quasi. Everyone, wait here while I take a look around. Looks like the coast is clear. Oh, good. Because we still have a few more mangrove seeds to plant. <laughs> Come on, Vegemals. What? Shiny! Whoa! <laughs> Barracudas! Everyone, back into the mangrove forest. Those barracudas came out of nowhere. Of course. Barracudas really like shiny things, like the Vegemals' tools. They must think they're food. <coughs> Don't worry, Tunip. They shouldn't follow us in here. Barracudas like to stay in deeper water. Can we just wait for them to go away? No. Barracudas are very patient. They can wait a long, long time for their food. Attention, Barracudas! Hello? What is it? Please, stop attacking us so we can plant our mangrove seeds. We'd like to, believe me, but those shiny things just look so delicious. Yes, we go crazy when we see them. We can't help it. OK, but this is just a gardening tool. It's not food. Shiny things! <laughs> They're just too hungry to listen. We'll have to distract the barracudas while the vegetables finish the planting. Everyone in position. Aye, Aye Captain. Captain. Good. Vegetables, start planting on my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Shiny. Quasi, go. That's your cue, Peso. Hey, look at this. Shiny, this way. Shiny. You're up next, Shellington. Hey, up Shiny. here. Hey, Barracudas, over here. Shiny. Shiny. That's it. We just 
have to keep them busy until the vegetables are finished planting. Captain! Uh, I can't keep this up much longer! Vegemals, look out! Oh, I didn't think the barracudas would follow the Vegemals into the mangrove forest. They must be really hungry. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. Whatever it was that stung you, it looks serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, I'm sure. It's around here, but somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! Oh, here I am! What's taking the captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Whoa! Shiver me whiskers! Peso's back! Look out, Quasi! Look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Oh, sea monkey's uncle. It's a bug walking on water. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider. The only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing. But true. I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? 
Ready, kids? Yeah. Yes. 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 Kern, kern. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and right, hurry. Skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find him before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out. And I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm, any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? Uh, no, we gotta unjam the octo hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey! You're talking to a speed skater, man! <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Guess I'm in a situation here! My mud wrestling? It was in my mud! Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. Easy, mud skippers. We just want to. Oh! 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 They're heading for the HQ. Here's mud in your eye. Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself. You're on. Check this out. <laughs> you call that a jump? This is a jump. Hey, jump jellyfish. What's going on? Oh, duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty. Of course, I should have known. Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it. Uh oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Ah. Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay. And I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud. Come back. Sorry about this. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am. Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah. Quasi said the mud is all mine. My name is Mud. Captain Mud. Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now, this is what a mangrove forest should look like. Quasi, Peso, let's spread out and find some nice mud banks for our friends. You gonna let him order you around like that? Well, he is the captain. Says who? You're just as good as he is. Him? Oh, don't make me laugh. Quasi here should be in charge. Forget about it. The captain here is the toughest guy around. Oh, well, you know, besides me, of course. Hmm. Or am I right? Just keep your eyes peeled for some mud, matey. Oh, you can count on me. See anything yet? I see a seagull and another seagull. Just solving a situation here. By mud 
about wrestling. It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. Ooh. Easy, mud skippers. We just want to. Oh! Oh! Slippers. <laughs> They're heading for the HQ! Here's mud in your eye! Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself! You're on! Check this out! <laughs> you call that a jump? This is a jump! Hey! Jump jellyfish! What's going on? Oh! Duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty! Of course! I should have known! Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it! Uh oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Ah. Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay and I'll head back to the garden pod. That's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this! Yeah! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am! Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself! Oh yeah! Quasi said the mud is all mine! My name is Mud! Captain Mud! Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night! Good night! Good night! Now this is what a mangrove forest should look like! Quasi, Peso, let's spread out and find some nice mud banks for our friends. You gonna let him water you around like that? Well, he is the captain. Says who? You're just as good as he is. Him? Oh, don't make me laugh. Quasi here should be in charge. Forget about it. The captain here is the toughest guy around. Oh, well, you know, besides me, of course. Hmm. Ah, they wanna go their own way? Fine by me. Who needs those yo-yos? Am I right or am I right? Just keep your eyes peeled for some mud, matey. Ha-ha! <laughs> you can count on me! See anything yet? I see a seagull and another seagull. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type, only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me, so obviously they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues, but the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. 
Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me. We're looking for a missing fish, and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... No! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark. I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't jump, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to a little hole in the sand. Leo? Peso? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to fly! Huh? Just happened. Sorry, big fella. We sort of kind of sucked you into the octopod. But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. <laughs> Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Keep our couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain. Hey, so you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the pickles! <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it! This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. <laughs> Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
What a lovely day. Just out for a stroll. Not trying to catch any crabs. That sounds like tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. And octonauts. Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. Piggy, <laughs> Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell her, Miggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been uh, borrowing your little snacks. <coughs> Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home, just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, <laughs> shoo! Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, Sue's hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you. No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh. Until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, well I say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh-oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. Oh, 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 sorry, oh, 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 no, there's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponge your scope, please. All right, this shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> tickle. Having a look in... no? See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. 
order. No way. I'm a whale louse. I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on. Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle! <laughs> yeah, got you! <laughs> hey, hey! Whoa, you guys! <laughs> now that was a good laugh! Phew! Shellington to Captain Barnacles! Come in, Shellington! How's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine. Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale. <gasps> swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry, the baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure... <laughs> rock! <laughs> Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the gup's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. First that, first that. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp. So we don't uh, float away. Uh, uh, still no sign of any urchins. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me, I thought you were... Ah, urchins! Oh no, that's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to! 
Shillington, come in, Shillington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. The <laughs> <laughs> lapidary flippers. Captain, come in, Captain. The urchins are coming. The urchins are coming. Lots of them. Uh, quasi. Yeah. What? Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the Gup A. <laughs> are heading for the kelp forest and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. <laughs> Everyone, into positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy, we need all the help we can get. Uh, fast! There they are, matey! And I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa! One down, a lot more to go. Yeah, sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got your leg, but I want you. Oh! Actually, it looks like I've got you. I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shot! <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a. <gasps> take a shot! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I. Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wild one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. <coughs> you can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there! The third hammerhead! And he's stuck! <laughs> We're the Octonauts, We're here to help! <laughs> he's really stuck! We'd better call for backup! There, the last one! Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother! Captain! We're on our way! <laughs> come on! Our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me? Peso, Quasi, over here. Oh, oh, ouch. This doesn't feel too good. 
some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. There. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the gub connector. Gub connector? I designed the gub X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the gub connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the gub X back together. Along with the captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Lost its slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Oh, dear. Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck, very possibly forever. Oh! <gasps> A loggerhead sea turtle! The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three. Lift! Lift! I'll have this gub connector fixed faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two spanner, please. Number five screwdriver. Number three carrot. What's that? <gasps> the slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. <laughs> Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover cam. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. <laughs> Come back here, you! <laughs> Should do it. The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. <laughs> It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere, and neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Now! The gub's moving all by itself! Do not be afraid. We are Polar Scouts. And we are here to answer your call for help. We don't want help. We want our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big. With big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? They went to find food, but they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> And it's moving fast. Her mum said not to move from this ice floe. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice floe moved. I know what to do. Cubs, would you sound the auto alert? Octonaut to the HQ. Cubs 
and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we got to sound the octo alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. Shiver me whiskers! You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you can all get hurt. <sighs> Quasi, Peso, take the Gup S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the walrus pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tuna, you and the Vegemals can help me prepare some bottles of walrus pup formula. <laughs> We're on our way, Captain. To the gut best, mateys! We'll catch up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some Warrus Pup formula? Rattle, rattle. Yeah, What am I doing here? You're in my new home. Your new home? It was on my side of the line. I captured it with my spear claw. Well then, maybe we need to settle this the mantis shrimp way. My smash claw against my spear claw. <laughs> Laws of danger. Now leave my new home at once or prepare to face my super strong hammer smash. Ha! Hammer smash! Now you must suffer my super fast lightning spear! Jumping jellyfish! It's a mantis shrimp showdown! Ultimate super spear! Ultimate super smash! Octonauts, we have to stop this. Please, mantis shrimp, you'll hurt each other! Out of my way! We got no problem with you. This fight for our new home is between us and our claws. Easy now. Why don't we take you back to the reef and... Never! <laughs> Maybe you two need a moment to calm down. There. A little time apart should do the trick. Uh, Camp, we got a vegetable stuck in the kitchen vent. Again. On my way. What about us? We need help getting out of these old shells. Don't worry, I've got a shell removal kit in the sick bay. Shellington, will you help me carry it? We'll be right back. Hear that? The big guy wants us to calm down. I heard, and I am already calming down at a very fast speed. That's funny, because everyone knows I'm the strongest in the sea at calming down. But you do not have my super fast calming move. <laughs> ah, so calm. <laughs> I'm the calmest, because I could break out of this tank any moment, but I choose not to. Oh, please, I'm so calm. I could shatter this tank with one spear! No! My double whammy hammer smash is stronger! Uh-oh. <laughs> Hardly! My triple whammy spear is faster! <laughs> Why, I order? Maybe they don't know what the word calm means. <laughs> this shell removal kit is just what we need. <gasps> oh my! What? What? They went that away. We've got to find them before they hurt each other and before they smash up the whole octopod. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you this time, Dashy. <laughs> Flying flight attack! <laughs> Stop! Ahoy there, little matey. Oh, don't touch, don't touch. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. No, but he could hurt you. Oh, come on. This little guy hurt me. That's right, that's right. 
I'm a poison dart frog. I don't bite or sting, but my skin is covered in poison. So if you touch me, you're in trouble, big trouble. That's why poison dart frogs have such brightly colored skin. It's like a do not touch sign. But I'm pleased to meet you just the same. Name's Robert, Robert. Pleased to meet you too. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi, Shellington, and Peso. We're looking for anyone who needs help after the tidal bore. We've got a big, big problem. Fish in the trees. Fish in the trees. Jumped on jellyfish. The tidal bore must have thrown all the fish high up into the trees. Oh no, that's not good for the fish. They need water to breathe. They do have some water, but not enough to last long. There now, back in the river where you belong. But there are lots more stuck up high, really high in the trees. And that means trouble, big trouble for us poison dart frogs. He's a disaster. Our eggs are about to hatch, and when they do... <gasps> you need the puddles of water up in the trees for the tadpoles. But why do they need puddles of water in the trees? When they hatch, they're not frogs yet. They're called tadpoles. They look like fish and swim in water. Right, exactly right. Each poodle makes a perfect little home for our tadpoles, so they can swim around and stay safe. But now, all the puddles up in the trees are full of fish. We need to get the fish out of the trees and make room for the tadpoles. And fast. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the tidal bore has swept fish high into the trees. Our mission is to get them out of the trees and back into the water. I'm ready to climb the highest tree, Captain. Trees in the Amazon are very tall, Quasi. It could take a long time to climb from the bottom to the top. Hmm, we need a faster way. Tweak, what do you think? The girl beach is ready, Cap. Then meet us here at the rescue site as fast as you can. Time to launch the girl beach, Tunip. Sorry, Shellington. We'd better get back to the Gup S. Uh, I might as well take a water sample first. Ooh. Cheer up, Shellington. We did find this amazing red waterfall. And we learned what makes it red. And we're all ship shape and toasty warm again. Uh, I suppose so. But I would have loved to have found a creature down there, even just one. It's been a long day. We'll rest here before we head home. Ah, oh, but it's still light outside. Remember, in Antarctica, it doesn't get dark at this time of year. Not even at night. <sighs> How am I supposed to sleep if it's not dark? Aha! Hello? Be hearing things. Maybe I need some sleep. Hello, over here. Huh? <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. No, not jellyfish. Microbe. Name's Mervin. I'm a teeny tiny microbe. I'm so small you can't see me with just your eyes. <laughs> nice to meet you. But where did you come from? From the Red Lake, under the ice, of course. That's my home. Uh, I didn't think anything could live down there. It's so cold and dark. Oh, but it's just right for me. I don't mind that it's cold and dark at all. <laughs> what about you? Is this where you live? Uh, no, this is the Gup S. My name is Shellington. I'm an octonaut. An octo-what? <laughs> oh, I want to hear all about it, but oh dear. Mervyn, 
What's wrong? It's just a little bit warm and bright up here. I think you'd better take me back down to the lake. Already? But I haven't introduced you to the others. Oh, hurry, Shellington. I'm boiling hot in here. Oh, don't worry, Mervyn. I'll get you home. Uh, this ice hole feels smaller than last time. Keep going. I'm feeling cooler already. Uh, oh. oh, that's more like it. Oh, thank you, Shellington. Come on. There's so much I want to show you. Well, uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a quick look around. Great! <laughs> Follow me! Oh, you have to meet the others. Others? A little further. A little further. Jumping jellyfish. Shellington, meet the other microbes. There's so many of you. Yeah, fussy little things, aren't they? They are quasi. If they get too hot or too cold, they won't hatch. We'll be very careful. The wave is moving in fast. We'd better hurry. Octonauts, load those eggs. That's the last one, Captain. Good. The wave is almost here. Tweak, we're ready for the Gup H. Roger that, Cap. Here we come. Octonauts, hook them up. Tweak, all lines are secure. Thanks, Cap. We'll get those eggs to safety faster and you can see bunch of munchy crunchy. Uh, hold on, Tweak. Oh, good catch, Gruber. This one nearly got away from us. Ah. Here comes the wave. Everyone, into the gut now. Brace yourselves. Is everyone all right? Just a little dizzy, Captain. Yow! And ready to go again. Captain, the turtle eggs aren't out of danger yet. We have to get them to a new beach right away. This one is too wet. I think we may have found one, Shellington. Sending you some pictures now. Ah, it seems to have everything the turtles need. The right sand, the right slope, and the right distance from the water. Perfect. Tweak, send us the location and we'll meet there to make new nests for the eggs. Octonauts, let's do this. Ah, I think that does it. The eggs are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah. I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. They're hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Turtles? Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, just wow. wonderful! Look at them! Huh? <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. <laughs> or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Kip, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations. Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. 
There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. <laughs> um, is everything all right there? Um, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. <sighs> Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Once. I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh. We must have left one behind. What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We'd better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Oh. <sighs> oh, goodness me. Where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times, and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do. I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on. Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them! Listen to this. 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Oh. A baby tree lobster! I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. Didn't we just see him swim into that burrow over there? I think it might be one big burrow with different entrances. Look! Whoa. Jumping jellyfish. Amazing! You want to meet Mama? This way! <laughs> Lots of hallways and rooms in this house, huh? <laughs> Mama! We've got company! Hey! Out of here, you! Out, out, out! Maybe I can tempt her out. Say, aren't you the fella I saw earlier? Yes, and I saw you too. Can you come out? We need to talk to you. You can talk to me right here. I'm a convict fish and I never come out. But uh, we met your children out here. We go out and bring Mama food. We're just about to get her some lunch. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? And make it quick. Uh, I'm afraid you and your burrow are in danger. The arch above you is about to collapse. You need to move somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. A grown-up convict fish like me never leaves her burrow. Now, good day to you. Oh, the arch is getting weaker by the minute. Dashi, how's everything going out there? I'm afraid there's a problem, Captain. There's a convict fish right under the archway and she won't leave her burrow. I think you might want to... Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a convict fish who needs to be moved out of the danger zone of a collapsing stone arch. She's deep inside her burrow and she really doesn't want to leave. Sounds like she's gonna need some convincing, Captain. Quasi, Vegemals, into the gut A and bring plenty of fish biscuits and kelp cakes. Can you get your mama to talk to Captain Barnacles? Is he your mama? <laughs> uh, not exactly, but I do look after him. Oh, what now? Excuse us, mama, but the stone archway above is going to fall on top of you if you don't move out quickly. We've been through that. I'm not moving. And... Mm -hmm. <gasps> Something smells good. Fish biscuits, Mama. They can all be yours. All you gotta do is come out. Oh, no. Not leaving. No way, no how. <sighs> She's more stubborn than the lid of a rusty treasure chest. No amount of convincing is gonna get her out of that burrow. Agreed. But perhaps we can move her burrow to a safer place. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? 
Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm uh, kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller Joe's are? Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh! So that's why the other whales can't understand me. Yow! What was that? Oh, gee. <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling. I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits? Captain, Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. Hmm, Joe needs food and fast, so we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. <laughs>